Hi everyone, Lewis here, and today I'm going to bring you guys another Rust update. It's now on to Rust dev blog number 63. It's actually been two weeks since I've last shown you guys what's happened in the update, so I've got a decent amount of stuff to cover today. It wasn't too much in last week's update, which is why I didn't make a video on it. Um, I'll explain everything which was in last update. In fact, I may as well do it right now. It was ladders, and that's pretty much it. That's right, these things right here. You can put them on buildings, and if you want to, then you can go ahead and climb up them, and that's pretty much it. And the wonderful thing about these ladders is you don't actually need building permission to place them on buildings, so it's completely changed the entire way the game works. Instead of people worrying purely about, you know, defending the bottom of the base and defending the top of the base in case we jump on top of it, we've now got to worry about the entire base because people can just place ladders on them, whether they have build permission or not, and raid people's base. So it is kind of an interesting update and there's a decent amount I could talk about uh, how I feel about the update a lot of people complain about when it first happened, but it's cool and it also now means raid towers aren't so big of a deal and you have to think of the game a bit differently. But ignoring that, on to more interesting stuff, there's a bunch of actually slightly interesting stuff, which isn't ladders. Um, other than the smaller few things, such as the supply drops now having different sounds and a bunch of tweaks the game running again a bit better, like the game's actually running really good right now. I'm getting a solid 60 FPS while recording, which is pretty cool. They've actually added in even more ammo types. So you'll see for the shotgun, for both this shotgun and the warpip shotgun, you've now got the 12 gauge buckshot and the 12 gauge slug, which assuming you know how buckshots and slugs work IRL, it works exactly Yo! Yo! I'm trying- Anyway, as I was explaining, got killed Well, explaining something because I didn't have god mode on, that was kind of stupid. Um, and don't worry about that over there, that's a massive arena, that's not someone's base. I thought it was in the middle of nowhere, but I guess apparently not, because somebody just randomly came over and bowed me out of the air. Anyway, so you got book shots and you got uh, the slugs, so if you know how those work IRL, they work exactly the same in this game, so I'll go ahead and demonstrate those right now. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't actually know which one is in the game originally. Well, I do know just from looking in the inventory, but obviously the green one is the new one, so I guess the book shot is the old one. So the slug is gonna be, um, is gonna be a really small kind of area, which is gonna shoot, and then the book shot right there. So let's go ahead and reload the slug. Um, the bookshot right there is a massive area. So that's the, the bookshot right there, which is the old one. And then there's a slug right there, which you can see is a very, very small... I think it might have been right there, I just shot. It's a very small uh, area, either way, that you're going to shoot into. So those things are pretty decent long range. I haven't used them on a player yet, but it's nice to see some more ammo types in the game. And it just means you can use current weapons in the game a bit differently. You can use it, like I said, on the old warpipe shotgun as well. And that's pretty much it for that. But that's not really the interesting stuff which is in this update. But interesting stuff in the update is this right here. Incendiary 556 rifle ammo. Not only can you get Incendiary 556 rifle ammo along with the high velocity one uh, ammo variants which we added in the old updates h3 stands for high velocity in case you were wondering um which is why this is also called the high velocity rocket but you can get now incendiary rifle ammo and incendiary pistol bullets and also on top of that you can actually also get incendiary rockets so you can flame everything you might wonder how those work it could work really boringly or they could work very interestingly i've experimented with it a decent amount i think i know how the uh, the ammo works out in the 5.56, of course, the 5.56 also goes into the bolt action, so everything that I'm saying about this applies to this, and also the pistol with the, uh, with the Yoka pistol, all our pistols, the submachine guns, it applies to those as well. But basically, it has a small chance, or a decent chance really, to set something on fire and it does damage over time. So if I go ahead and shoot like, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Okay, that was actually terrible. Either way, it can set on fire if I shoot a bit more. So let's go ahead and empty out my entire mag. The point I was trying to demonstrate there is it doesn't happen every single time, but that was kind of obvious. But if I go ahead and spray, I'm sure I'll get a fire out of this. Okay, and we still did not get a fire. So I think the percentage chance is maybe a bit lower than I thought it was, but you can still, still see regardless, it's extremely good at taking down structures. The same thing applies to the rockets, which I'll show you in a second. If I shoot a bit more, then I might be able to see a fire. I'm not sure if it's a bug or something, maybe with a fire. Because, no, it doesn't look like it's damaging it, but there's actually no fire at all coming out of this. I don't know. Oh, there we go. We've got fire, boys. So the fire actually does damage over time on structures. So you can see right now, the structure right there is actually slowly but surely taking damage. And this fire stays up for a decent amount of time. So, I mean, it depends on your situation. This ammo does go a bit slower than normal ammo. You'll see it's slow moving ammunition that deals fire damage. Small chance to start fire. Um, it's kind of interesting, and if you get lucky, you will uh, also get a chance to do this um, and leave a bit of fire on the floor, which will, of course, stop people from uh, doing shit for a certain amount of time. If I shoot a bit more, I'm going to show you the kind of damage that I can do to yourself if I get lucky and actually fucking get fire, that is. There we go, so there's an fire right there. 
The fire does very, very bad damage, which I'm kind of surprised by. But regardless of that, it's still decent. It did like one damage over a very long amount of time, so it's kind of shit. It's not as good as I thought it might be for, uh, you know, raiding and whatnot. But uh, the more interesting thing, which I know definitely does a decent amount of damage, is this thing right here, which is the rocket. So let's go ahead and turn off that, and we should have the incendiary rocket inside this. That means we've now got four ammo types for rocket. You've got the high velocity, which shoots obviously normal, uh, faster than normal ones. You've got rockets, which are just for traditional old rockets. The smoke ones, which aren't in the game right now, but you can still, you know, hack them in. Well, not hack them in, but spawn them in like I am. And then we've got the incendiary rockets. So let's go ahead and uh, put this inside here. In fact, I think it already is in. And if you look right here... It's extremely loud, and it falls a lot, just like the old rockets, but it makes a massive amount of uh, fire on the floor right there. So you can see that's, um, that's fucking up the floor right there. You can see the amount of damage it's doing. So this very quickly will destroy certain base building materials. Obviously, in this case, it is just a wooden base, but it kind of zones off an area uh, to stop people from, from doing stuff over there. So if I go ahead and turn off God Mode, you'll see it, it doesn't do too much damage still, again, but if you stand in it for a decent amount of time, and considering it's up for a decent amount of time, it will fuck you up. It sounds kind of bugged out right now. It probably does need a bit more work to make it a bit uh, more, I wouldn't say realistic, but a bit less, a bit less retarded. But anyway, it does a lot of damage to the floor, and it also uh, zones off people, and also makes it a bit hard to see through. So this for base attacking, for certain situations, would be very, very good indeed. But that's pretty much it for the incendiary stuff. You know, you can use that in the old pistol, the SMG, blah, 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 like I mentioned before, if you want to try it out on that. Then, most of the time, survival games are about using what you come across, right? So it's not going to be a case of, oh, I'm going to start using incendiary ammo as my main thing. It's just going to be, if you've got a bit of incendiary ammo and maybe the situation calls for it, rip a reno, repair bench, then maybe you will, you will just so happen to use it. So let's go ahead and shoot this once more. And that should pretty much destroy the entire base because the fire lasts a very, very long time. It's going to destroy this in a decent amount of time and then with that, the foundation will eventually fall as well. Oh yeah, also, it's completely pitch black, and this is a really weird edit, but I completely forgot to mention it, but how much stuff does it cost to craft all of the, the new things in the game? Like the, the 12 gauge slugs compared to the buckshots, you can see right there, the only thing it costs more of is gunpowder, and the only thing it costs more of is also battle fragments, so what I just said didn't make any sense. Basically, it costs more shit, because it's better. I mean, buckshots are good, very good, close range, but these are better long range, so, you know. If you've got to work with that, then you've got to work with that, but that's pretty much that. For the explosive rounds, every single one has the same kind of pattern in that it requires gunpowder, more gunpowder, and some sulfur, which otherwise it doesn't need at all. It's the same with the, uh, the rifle ammo right here, but you also need one low-grade fuel. And also, you can see the incendiary rocket, again, has the same kind of thing, except it needs one explosive, some more low-grade fuel, some more gunpowder, blah, blah, blah. So it's much more expensive than the traditional rocket, which is this right here. So that is that for the blueprints for all these things. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down here and... Fuck off! I'm busy! I'm busy! Yeah, you better be fucking sorry. And we're going to go ahead and make this into stone. So one of the new things in the update as well is when you actually hover over things, you'll see how much they cost to upgrade, which is really, really useful. Like, it's so annoying before. I'm like, how much stuff is it going to cost to upgrade just to armored? I, I can now see that. If you don't have the stuff, um, you know, if you don't have too much stuff to upgrade with, then it's kind of useful to know, oh, it's going to cost that much to make it armored. So I can go ahead and make that armored. And then if I go over here, it's going to tell me how much more I need. You can see how much I've got, how much I need, blah, blah, blah. And we've done a lot of work on the UI to just make it more obvious um, with everything. So even for, you know, crafting, we can go ahead and press plus. We can press this to craft the max amount we can make, which in this case, I can't make any because I don't have the right stuff. But if I want to make something like this, I can create 37 in total if I want. You can see how long it's going to take to craft them individually. This is an Instacraft server I'm on right now, but obviously on a normal server, just times 30 by that. And this shows you how many of those things you are going to make from when you actually craft it certain things which you craft and then you'll get multiple of them. For example, for low grade fuel, you will get five of them each time you build them. That was actually some really good improv. I couldn't think of one before when I was thinking about it, but right then, I just thought about it and got it. So yeah, there's a bunch of useful stuff with there. Um, and also, um, on this, it shows you, you know, total have blah 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 the amount of... Yeah, you get it. You get it. It's it's just more informative. It's pretty fucking simple. 
But if we, I'm going to go ahead and place a wall right here, and I can show you guys the next thing, which is added in this new update. So, along with high velocity ammo as well, they've actually added up, or added in high velocity bows. Not high velocity bows, the bow model's actually changed a bit as well, I think. They've changed a bunch of sounds and stuff you might have noticed, but they've actually added in, if you hold R, high velocity arrows, which right now are really, really fucking fast and really strong. Like, look how fast they go. They go ridiculously fast, and you might know something a bit stranger here. Instead of the arrow, and you also would have noticed that when I died before, but instead of the arrow actually, um sitting on the floor and becoming an object when you shoot, now it actually goes in the wall and you can go ahead and pick it back up again. So it works just the way you'd expect it to do. The way it used to work wasn't too intuitive. It did make it sometimes possible to get an arrow when you wouldn't be able to otherwise. For example, if you shoot in a really high wall, you wouldn't be able to get it unless it fell down because it becomes an, ob an object. But now uh, the only way you can get them is by going up to them in a wall and picking them out of the wall just like that. So I can go like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Fuck. Well, you get the point. In either way, they are a decent amount faster than the traditional wooden arrows. And it's kind of obvious, but with the new high-velocity ammo types, with both the rifles, the SMGs, etc, etc, um, those, those shoot faster, so they fall less. So over a long distance, for example, let's see where this arrow lands, it lands pretty much on target. If we shoot the wooden bow, or the wooden arrow, the traditional wooden arrow, you can see it falls shorter. So... Um, not only is it better because it takes less time to travel, but it also can shoot a lot further than the traditional ammo for the bow and also for the rifles, blah blah blah. Those are exactly the same in the way that it works, so it's kind of obvious. Along with that, we've also added in the possibility to throw spears, since now with the arrows, you can, you know, shoot them in a wall and they will be impaled in a wall. It wouldn't be right if the... Uh, this wasn't uh, possible to be thrown the, the spears. So not only are you able to throw the old stone spears, but also the wooden spears. So you can go ahead and pick this out if you want, or maybe I can't pick it out, I don't fucking know. Um, I mean, I'm trying. It might be because I, I spawned them in, in 100 stacks, so it might be an issue. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and get some more of the, uh, the, uh, the not the bows, the fucking, the spears. All right, so we've got some more spears now, so let's go try ourselves. So there's a stone spear, there's a wooden spear. I assume you can get them out. No, of course you can't get them out. No, maybe you can get them out of walls. I don't know. Let's see. So, um, it looks like you can't actually pick them out of walls, which I'm kind of surprised by. I don't know. Maybe, I mean, stone spears are, or not stone, wooden spears are extremely cheap to make. So it's not a big deal, but I did think you'd be able to get them out of walls, but you seemingly cannot. Um, and also, along with being able to impale them into walls and whatnot, can you impale them into people? Let's go find out. I know the answer to the question, but let's go find out. Yo, stop knocking. Stop knocking on the fucking door, blue team, okay? You just wait right here. What the fuck is this over here? George has made some, like, shitty-ass arena. There's blue team over here. George, if you want to wait a few minutes, I can go check this out. Oh, wait, are you George? Who the fuck are you? I don't know who he is, but either way, George is like... What? I... Why is it... I don't know what's going on here. If we, I'm gonna go throw a spear into a sleeping George right here. This is George, I think, right here. And you can see you can indeed impale spears into people. So once this dude wakes up, which maybe I shouldn't have done that. Or oh, is he God mode? Oh no, maybe he's God mode. Wait, no, he's in God mode. This is a God mode player. And um, the spear will go round with him. You can pick up wooden spears. Why the fuck couldn't I pick it up a wall then? I don't even know. Okay, you can pick up spears, boys. I'm sorry for the confusion. I'm so sorry. But you can stab them into things, animals, whatever else. And you can, uh, you know, watch them run away as we've got a spear impaled into their ass. There's been a few more rad towns added to the game as well. You might have noticed this from Hapis Island. But this is actually an airfield which now spawns in the world. There's also those power lines over there which have been added into a generation. I'm going to go and talk to this lovely chap right here. Hello, my friend. Would No, it's uh, wait, please don't shoot me. I'm God mode. I'm, I'm special. Can I throw this? Can I throw this spear in your stomach, please? It won't hurt. I promise. For experiment. H Hello. H Hello. No, Mike. Okay. Can I throw this spear into your stomach? It's for an experiment. It won't hurt. Too much. Alright, thanks. Bam! Right in the foot. Alright, I'm gonna throw one more now. Don't worry, okay? Bam! Alright, now run, 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 run away. Run away, my baby. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. So that's pretty much it for the new update, I think. I don't think I missed too much stuff. If you want to, of course. One second, I need to get my spears back. Stay still for me. Thank you, my friend. There we go. Away! 
If you want to check out the full dev blog with all the information on what's going to be coming out in the future weeks, there's a lot of exciting stuff in there, pistols, blah 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 blah, but Rust again is becoming a better and better game. I don't think there's really been any specific updates so far, which people have been heavily against them. This is just um, another bit of level added to the game, or a little more detail added to the game, which is appreciated. As per usual, for if you'd be interested in seeing the next update next week, then tell me in the comment section below and I will try to make an overview of next week's update. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and all good stuff. And if you want to check out this server, there'll be a link to it in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time.